Today's show is easily one of the most anticipated shows that I've ever done. And of course, I am talking about the brand new for 2024 Masterbuild Gravity Fed XT. My name is Tommy, and of course, this is the Gallery Backyard Barbecue. If this is your first time here, please consider to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you get notified every time the channel does a future upload. With over 200 Masterbuilt videos on film, over 175 cooks. I have been waiting for this day for a long time. The first video that I did with this, uh, with the Masterbuilt 560 dates back all the way to March 2020. I've had the 560, the 800, and of course the 1050. I've also had the Char Griller 980, as well as the brand new for 2024, Oklahoma Joe Tahoma 900. Full disclosure, as I start this show here, all these pits have been given to the channel every one of them except the master bill 560 that does include the 800 the 1050 the char griller and this oklahoma joe double that said i've never taken a dime from any of these companies i have never been told what to say by any of these companies all these views are of my own some you guys may disagree with and that is cool as usual if you have any questions leave them on down in the description and i will certainly answer it. So what I want to do here for you on today's show, we've got to get this bad boy uncrated and also assembled. And I will touch on all those points there. I will try to make these shows as brief as possible and I will get them out as quick as possible. So look, what I want to do here is let's turn our attention down to that crate and let's start the show. So the first thing we have to discuss is the price. And I have to tell you, when I first saw the price, I about fell out of my chair as it comes in almost double where the 1050 came in. That said, everything in this country has gone up through the roof. So what would make the Masterbuilt Gravity Fed XT any different? But with that price, there definitely has to be some heavy upgrades from the 1050. And that all starts as the way it was shipped, the way it is packed up, and the way it is crazy. Kudos to Masterbuilt there as it is created from the bottom and also from the top. And as we get into this, you will see how well packed it actually is, as I've had zero damage on mine. And we all know when the 560 and 800 first shipped out, along with the 1050, there was multiple reports of damage. So Masterbuilt definitely stepped up to the plate with this one. Now, please take note, Masterbuilt does recommend the box to be held straight up and then leaned on over to its side. At that point, you can start to uncrate it. However, I. I had nobody to help me and I wasn't about to uh, to attempt it myself as this sucker probably weighs close to 400 pounds. So I had to do it the old school way of uh, unboxing it where I removed the top, remove all the sides. And one thought to me is that this sucker is almost put together already. And again, that is a welcome sight for me as the 560, 800, and 1050 definitely always gave me fits. The hopper is intact, the control panel is intact, and also that fan is intact. So all that is definitely good news. So at this point, what I will do is just go the old fashioned way, wait for my neighbor to come home, and then we will both together drop it down on its side. So as we get started on the assemble of this Masterbuilt Gravity Fed XT, we have to take a look at Pitmaster Molly and remember that all she wants to do is play, eat, and sleep. So a couple tips as we get going here. The first thing I like to do is to lay all the bigger parts out on the lawn and look everything over. Then of course, we've got to take a look at that blister pack and I am certainly pleased with that. Another thing I like to do, if you've got 30 or 40 screws, nuts and washers, you know they are gonna be used in most steps. So I will take those out of the blister pack, get them in little cups. That way I can grab what I need real quick. And as you can see, Pitmaster Molly is all finished for the day. So look, what I wanna do here is let's just move right to step one and get the lay on. 
So the manual is pictures. There are no words. There are no instructions. And I got to tell you, make sure you watch this through because there were a couple mistakes made. There definitely was a couple head scratchers where I had to sit there and try and figure things out. And I will point those steps out to you so you won't have to do the same. And also keep in mind, I will have each step laid out in the timeline below. And that does lead us right into step one and and that is going to be your four legs. Just make sure you've got the proper numbers on the proper side. And also, as you could see, one little mistake I made, no big deal. I've got that sticker in the front. I'm pretty sure that belongs in the back. That is okay, as it did unstick real easily, and I did move it to the back leg. So hopefully you did not screw down those legs yet. And for this step here, you are gonna grab number 20 and number 10. 20 being that front leg cross brace, that is gonna have the Masterbuilt logo put in it. And also number 10 is gonna be the hopper leg brace. So basically you are gonna use the screws for the legs to also hold up that front leg cross brace. Again, that is the one with the Masterbuilt logo indented into it. Get that all screwed down. And from there, grab that hopper leg brace. You are gonna screw that into the hopper, but do not screw it into the legs yet. We will cover that in a later step. From there, you are gonna grab that bottom shelf and also your four wheels. Screw that bottom shelf down and just pay attention to where you're gonna put the locking casters. Grab the four screws for each one and screw them in. I gotta tell you, man, so far, easy peasy. Guys, can we just pause for one moment here and admire the beauty? What is the brand new for 2024 Masterbuilt Gravity XT? So that next step is gonna be that hopper brace. You can now screw that into the legs. Remember earlier in the show, we left those screws out. Once you get that all screwed in, you are gonna grab your side table and also your pull bar. Gather up the proper screws and take note how that pull bar screws into the conjunction with also the side table. As that side table flips up, that'll expose that pull bar and allow you to move the pit where you want to move it. That certainly took me a little bit of while to figure out, so hopefully that has helped you greatly. So be careful with that hopper handle. As you could see, I did crack mine. That is totally on me as I forgot to adjust the tension on my screw gun. From there, grab that manifold adapter, get that in, and we've got dual manifolds in this pit, and I am real curious to see how it distributes the heat. And to close this out, inside the hopper, you can see our fire bricks now is nicely exposed, and that is basically gonna end this show there. Let me go gather my notes, and I will bring you guys back for some closing thoughts. Oh wait, one more thing that you are absolutely gonna love. So look, in closing, I could tell you that this XT is 100% built like a tank. There is no doubt about it. There are many upgrades from the 560, 800, and the 1050, and I am real curious to see how it performs. We are talking heavy-duty construction with a hinged hood. How about 1,260 square inches? This hopper is going to hold 12 pounds of lump, 18-pound briskets. We are talking up to 24 hours of use. It is going to reach 225 in seven minutes, 711 minutes. That is going to give you your high heat searing. You are going to get up to three levels of stainless steel full body smoking racks. How about an integrated shutdown slide lever? No more pulling out those slides. Full body grease tray with quick and easy cleanup, folding stainless steel side shelves, utility hooks, storage drawers, and a towel rack. 
and it is also going to be compatible with four meat probes although master built only gives you two so guys look that is going to close out this show i am going to have content on this sucker weekly so you are definitely going to want to subscribe to the channel and certainly ring that bell so you get notified every time i do upload something i appreciate you all for watching any questions leave them down in the description again my name is tommy and until next time we will see you soon.